Scott Adair here with Rayata Sales. We're on site at UBC Lalem Village. Uh, here we're standing beside a, a Shark Wastewater Energy Transfer Skid. So this is the main room for the district energy here. Um, over here on my right, we've got two wastewater storage tanks. So we're capturing wastewater temporarily to use as a thermal battery in these tanks here. Inside the tanks, there are submersible solid handling pumps. So as needed, the solid handling pumps will come on and pump raw wastewater through here to the shark skid. Now as part of the shark skid design here, we've got our control box, touch screen control developed by shark. Behind here, we've got a macerator. So the first thing the wastewater hits is a macerator. Here we take the solids down to a maximum of a 20 millimeter size. As we move through the skid, that macerated wastewater comes here to the main, this is the heart of the shark, uh, the shark module here. So there's a filter basket in here that filters the wastewater to a maximum solid of three millimeters. This motor controls an auger that separates any solids larger than that and sends them down here to this line, temporarily bypassing the solids, the larger solids. Anything that makes its way through this filter basket with that smaller than three millimeter solids comes through here through these auto reversing valves and through a wide gap plate heat exchanger. This is a specialized heat exchanger that can accept up to 11 millimeter solids. The valves here will automatically reverse the flow through the heat exchanger on a scheduled basis to reject any potential stringier solids that might make its way through, make their way through the, uh, the filter basket. So that way we keep the heat exchanger nice and clean. Any shark system that's been installed thus far has not had to take the plates apart to clean the heat exchanger um, for maintenance because of the effectiveness of the auto reversing system. So after the energy is used at the heat exchanger here, um, on the return side, we can see the solids line meets back up with the water uh, after the heat exchanger and the wastewater then goes back to the storage tanks. On the downstream side of this heat exchanger, we can use the energy however we want. So we can utilize that energy for building heating, for domestic water heating, and we could even use the wastewater as a sink for cooling buildings. In this case here at Leyland Village, we're using it as a domestic water district energy system. Um, so we're putting out water uh, on an ambient loop to each building in the district. And there's a water to water heat pump domestic water heater system in each building on the district. High efficiency system using wastewater energy transfer on a district scale. This can be applied on a much bigger scale for citywide districts. It can be applied on a much smaller scale for individual buildings. Uh, let us know how we can help with your next design. Thank you.